What's going on everyone and welcome back to the first Star Wars gaming video on this channel in a very long time. Today we're going to be talking about the future of Star Wars games and potentially Battlefront 3 and what I think is potentially going to happen or could happen with Star Wars games under EA. But before we get fully into this video, I want to just quickly say that at the moment I'm not posting as much on YouTube, obviously, and I am actually live streaming more on Twitch, playing a variety of games. So if you would like to see what I'm getting up to, please do head on over to my Twitch, drop us a follow where you can see all of the games that I'm going to be playing and you can also get notifications of when I'm going live over on that channel. But let's get into the video. EA has set expectations by stating that it will not reveal any new Star Wars games at next week's EA Play Live. Instead, EA said in a tweet, all of us look forward to celebrating with you next year when we share our vision for the galaxy far, far away. So it sounds already like we're not going to see any new Star Wars games until at least 2022. EA had never suggested it would reveal any new Star Wars games next week, though executive Andrew Wilson previously said that successful Jedi Fallen Order was the first title in an entirely new franchise, sparking speculation a follow-up was in the works. Then there's whatever is going on with Star Wars The Old Republic, although this isn't being handled internally by EA. With its 10 year exclusivity deal almost expired, EA is no longer the only publisher able to make big budget Star Wars games. Ubisoft have already announced that they are working on its own open world game set in the galaxy far far away, but that doesn't mean EA is done with creating Star Wars titles. The actual tweet from the EA Star Wars Twitter page said, We won't be showing any new Star Wars games at EA Play live on July 22nd, but all of us look forward to celebrating with you next year when we share our vision for the galaxy far, far away. Now, if you want to be optimistic about EA Star Wars' tweet, you could view it as they want a big reveal for their vision of the Star Wars universe in terms of games at Star Wars Celebration next year with things like Fallen Order 2, a new Battlefront game, Star Wars The Old Republic, Galaxy of Heroes, and a rumoured small-scale game that's been mentioned, which would be really cool. Obviously, we'd be getting a lot of new content, and it would give Star Wars fans a massive variety of choice. However, you can also take the pessimistic view that the only thing that they are working on is Fallen Order 2 and they haven't gotten very far with it, so they are postponing a big reveal until next year. I think what is probably best for you to do if you are a Star Wars gaming fan is potentially have a bit of both of these views, hope that they are going to have a big reveal of their vision for Star Wars games next year, but also kind of keep in the back of your mind that it could only be Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2 that is actually revealed next year and they show a bit of that. If that's the case, I hope that game does come out next year because I feel like we've not really had any good content for Star Wars gaming for quite some time now and I really hope we get back to getting a lot of updates and a lot of games to be honest because it's been kinda dead since Squadrons came out to be honest, I think that was the last thing that we had. But that's just my quick update for what's going on in the Star Wars gaming world. So if you've enjoyed this video and this quick update, please do let me know in the comments and also let me know what you think EA are going to be doing next year at Star Wars Celebration. Make sure to smash a like on the video to show support for it and make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with any videos that I'm going to be posting in the future. And like I said, if you want to see more of me, please do head on over to my Twitch page where you can drop a follow and get notified of any live streams that I'm going to be doing. I am trying to do them nearly every day so you will see me quite frequently over there. But until the next video, goodbye.